Let's talk about quadratic functions, lesson number five, applications of quadratic functions. So in this lesson, we'll explore some practical applications of quadratic functions, and some questions will require the graphing calculator and some might not. So let's take a look at class example number one. During a high school football game, the height of a punt can be modeled as a quadratic function of time as this. H of t, the height at time t, is equal to negative five times bracket t minus 1.5, all brackets squared, plus 12.25. T is the number of seconds which have elapsed since the football was punted, and H is the number of meters above the ground after T seconds, or in other words, it's the height. And let's see what the path of the football will do. Um, you can imagine it gets kicked here and then goes up to a maximum height and then comes down, either gets caught or hits the ground. Of course, in math, math doesn't understand what the ground means. So this is just zero and it actually could keep going this way. However, the real life scenario, something different happens when it either gets caught or hits the ground. The same thing with on this side is the punter punts the ball here. And this is the beginning of the actual real life problem. In math, you might consider that it has, it continues on this way, but doesn't have, make any sense for anything that happens before the contact is made because this will scenario is different in real life. Okay, well, let's, without the calculator, let's explain how the following can be determined. So the maximum height of the football. Now, since this is the equation, we recognize what kind of form is this? This is the vertex form. So we have the vertex form or the standard form, which means that we can know what the H value is and the K value. Here, since it's in this form of negative five, uh, t minus 1.5 squared plus 12.25. It's in the vertex form. Remember that this is in y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k, which means then that this h and this k is the location of the vertex. So h k is the vertex, which means that we can say that the vertex happens at, which is the maximum, the maximum occurs at x is equal to 1.5 and it has a value of the value of of 12.25 so the maximum is 12.25 and it occurs at x equals 1.5 all right well what is the time it takes for the football to reach its maximum height well, since it, it reaches its maximum height of 12.25 meters above the ground, then that means, and it happens at x equals 1.5, this is the time it takes for the ball to reach its maximum height. So it takes x equal 1.5 seconds for the ball to reach its maximum height. Now, the height of the football above the ground as the punter makes contact with it, the punter makes contact. Let's take a look at the description of the function here. It says t is the number of seconds which have elapsed since the football was punted. So that means if we if we use t is equal to zero here, I guess we should say t is equal to 1.5 seconds. If t is equal to zero, that means that it's zero seconds since the punter makes contact. And therefore that is going to tell us the time at which the punter makes contact at t equals zero seconds. So if we use t equals zero for the time, then we can say the eight, the height at time zero is equal to negative five with a t, which will make zero, minus uh, 1.5, and then square that, and then add 12.5, or 12.25, sorry then we will see what the height is at time zero. So if we continue this, this will be negative five and zero minus 1.5 is just negative 1.5. So negative 1.5 squared plus 12.25. And here we can use, uh, or, or we're not, so you're not supposed to use our calculator. So what is 1.5 squared? 1.5 squared is uh, 2.25. And now multiplied by negative five. So we are going to, oops, this is going to be two, two five. This is equal to, what is 2.25 times five? So this is going to be 25 
this is going to be 10 plus 2, that's 12. And then we have 10 is 11, 10 and 11. So here's 11.25. So 11.25, whoops, negative, sorry. It's a negative 11.25 because it's negative 5. And then plus 12.25. This is equal to 1 second. It's just 1 second. Sorry, sorry, one, not one second. This is the wrong unit. This is one meter. Remember, we're calculating the height here. So this is one meter. So the punter makes contact at one meter. Wow, this must be a tall kicker. Anyway, the height of the football above the ground is 0 0.5 seconds after contact. So here, this 0 0.5 is in seconds. So we're using T is equal to 0 0.5. And we're trying to find the height at that 0 0.5 seconds. So here the height is going to be equal to negative 5 with 0 0.5 as t, 0 0.5 minus 1.5, and then square, and then we're going to add 12.25. So this is going to be equal to negative 5. What is negative 5 minus 1.5? That's just negative 1. Okay. Negative 1. Um, yes, negative 1. Okay, and then square that, and then we're going to add 12.25. So we have negative five times one. Remember negative one times negative one is just positive one. So we have negative five plus 12.25, and that's gonna be equal to 7.25. Now, what is the units here? I think it's in meters, yes, meters. So it's 7.25 meters. So 0 0.5 seconds after the punter kicks it, makes contact, the height will be 7.25 meters. All right, can we use the features of the graph and calculator to sketch the graph and then verify all these answers? Okay, let's, let's do that. So we have this is our graphing calculator. In y equals, we'll have negative 5. And if you're going to put a negative, I would use the negative sign here. This minus sign is an operation between two numbers. So it's, uh, we would get an error if we use the, this minus sign in the front. So we have negative 5, and then we have x. I know this says x, but it's t in our problem, but it's, it's okay to convert back and forth. So this t or x in this case is going to be minus 1.5, close the bracket, square it, and then add 12.25. Okay, so we have our graph and there it is. And let's do a zoom six because that seems uh, like it might look a little bit better. So if we do zoom six and graph it, all right, let's see what this looks like. And it comes up and over. So let's just change our window here. So window, we'll spread this out a little bit and then and make it go a little higher. So with this window, we have, it's a little bit skinny. So let's make this smaller. So this is going to be five. And then here, make this also negative five. Now the, the Y max can be a bit higher. So let's just say 20. And let's see what that looks like. Does that look a little bit better? Okay, so that looks a little bit better. Let's see if we can verify the maximum. We said the maximum was 12.25. So for a second, trace, find the maximum, which is number four. And now it's conversation. The left goalpost or boundary is right somewhere there. And the right boundary has to be after the maximum. So right there. And then we can make a guess. Uh, let's see the guess. Here the maximum occurs at x equals 1.5 and it is a max of 12.25. Fair enough. And again, you can see that it, it happens at 1.25. And let's see the height of the football point, well, zero seconds. So let's say second trace to the value is one. And then we'll say that it's zero. And yes, y is equal to one. And if we did that same thing again, the value here. Oh, we want to know how long it takes. Uh, what's the height at 0 0.5? So a value again, say 0 0.5 seconds. And we can see that the y is 7.25. So we verified most of these answers here and we, we sketched the graph. So it looks like we move to our sketch. Uh, there's about 12.25. And this is one, so zero, one. 
And here, this is 1.5 right here. So you can imagine maybe that if this was 1.5 in the middle here, and this is very close to zero, that this point here will be around three. Okay, so what can we do next? Um, determine how many seconds to the nearest tenth the football is 10 meters above the ground. So what we're trying to find then is, it says how many seconds, so after how many seconds, so that means after an input of a certain number of seconds, how do we, or how do we find that out um, if the football is 10 meters above the ground? So if we go to our calculator, we can introduce another equation. So y2 equals 10, and then we'll see, when we see the graph here, we'll notice when does the football reach 10 meters, and then when does it reach 10 meters again? So how many seconds after does it reach 10? Hmm. So it looks like we have two answers here. So taking a look here, there's one answer here and there's one answer here. How can we find it? Do we say second trace and then find the intersection? We'll find the intersection of these two curves. So that's this and this one, the blue and the red. And then our first guess is close by. So that's 0 0.8. So T here is gonna be equal to 0 0.8 uh, to the nearest tenth, 0 0.8 seconds. And it also happens again later on. So let's repeat this second trace. And we have the intersection, first curve and second curve, and move over to make our guess closer to that second value. And so we can say this is 2.17 or to the nearest tenth, it's just T is equal to 2.2 seconds. So the football is at 10 meters at 0 0.8 seconds and 2.2 seconds. In part C, it says the punt is not caught by the opposing team and the football hits the ground. Let's see if we can use our graph and calculator to find out where it hits the ground. So let's just get rid of this second one for now. But what we could do, actually, we can make it zero. Since when it hits the ground, the height is going to be equal to zero meters. So when we graph it, we could say, okay, what is the intersection between these two points? And we're specifically interested in where these intersect here because that's where it hits the ground after the punter made contact with it. So second trace, and then we can find the intersection, enter for the blue curve, enter for the red curve, and move towards this x intercept here, or this right there, press enter. And we can see that it intersects at x equals, or t equals 3.065. So to the nearest hundredth, uh, t is equal to 3.07. 65 rounds to 70, right? So 3.07 seconds is when the football hits the ground, which makes uh, a bit of sense. If we take a look at 1.5 is in the center here, and this is very, very close to zero. So 1.5 is here, and 3.07 is a reasonable answer for when the football hits the ground. So one of the things to ensure when you're doing these problems is to make sure that the units are correct if the height is measured in meters to make sure that your height is going to be specified in meters. And also if the time is in a different unit, then you have to make sure that that corresponds as well. So if all of the times are in seconds and your function is in seconds, then it's okay. Uh, if it was in minutes, then you would have to make sure to convert and ensure how to use your graphing calculator to solve for certain characteristics. For example, if you're looking for the maximum, sorry, if you're looking for the maximum height, does that involve a zero or does that involve um, a maximum? If you're looking for when the football hits the ground, are you looking for a zero or are you looking for a minimum or maximum? Now, in the case of being it hitting the ground, you're looking for the zero. Okay, so I think you have enough to start your assignment and I will see you in class.